Welcome to Elector Online, and now we can put it all together. The exponents and the numerical coefficients to get a nice Pascal strangle along with the proper pattern of exponents that we need when we expand a binomial. That's called the binomial expansion. So when we start with a 1 up on top, notice when we bring the 1 and bring it out here, we get a 1 and a 1. So simply we get 1 a to the first power plus 1 a to the plus 1 b to the first power, which is of course simply equal to a plus b to the first power. But then when we get to a plus b to the second power, notice that the 1's move to the side, and then the 1 in the middle is simply the sum of those two, 1 plus 1, and we get 2. Also notice that in, I included the to the 0 power for the exponent, so you can see that we have a squared b to the 0, a to the first, b to the first, a to the 0, b squared. So we start with second power, first power, 0 power, here we have 0 power, first power, second power, so that's the pattern for the exponents. Then we get to the next line here, we get a plus b quantity to the third power. Notice the ones they move out to the side. And then to get the two other numerical coefficients, we take 1 plus 2, which is 3, and 2 plus 1, which gives us 3. That's how we obtain the numerical coefficients for the exponents. In this case, we have a 3 there, a plus b to the third power, so we have a to the third, a to the second, a to the first, a to the zero b to the 0, b to the 1, b to the second power, b to the third power. And so that's the pattern. On the next one, again, we write the 1's at the ends. Now we have 1 plus 3, which gives us a 4, 3 plus 3, which gives us a 6, 3 plus 1, which gives us a 4, and that's how we get the numerical coefficients. Again, the exponents, since we start at a plus b to the fourth power, we have a to the fourth, a cubed, a to the second power, a to the first power, a to the zero power, b to the 0, b to the 1, b squared, b cubed, b to the 4th power. And that's how we get that expansion. And one more, a plus b to the 5th power. Again, we move the 1's out. We get a 1 here. We get a 1 here. Then we see 1 plus 4 gives us 5. 4 plus 6 gives us 10. 6 plus 4 gives us 10. 4 plus 1 gives us 5. And then we have the 1 there. And again, with the exponents, since we have a plus b to the 5th power, we have a to the fifth, a to the fourth, a cubed, a squared, a to the first, a to the zero, and b to the zero, b to the first, b squared, b cubed, b to the fourth, b to the fifth. And that's how we get the binomial expansion, by simply following that pattern. And that is how it's done. You have to follow the expansion pattern. You can't just say a plus b to the 16th power and start writing it out. Power. Well, there are ways to do that, actually. And so we will show you some of those other techniques. Uh, none of them are quite that simple, but there are ways in which we can kind of shortcut it so you don't have to sit there and make the entire triangle when, of course, you have something like a plus b to the 16th power. There's other ways of obtaining those coefficients. So we'll see how that's done.